Teardown time. This is a Philips uh, T8 uh, LED light bulb, 48 inches long, uh, designed to replace an old fluorescent tube. Uh, this is the one uh, just snagged out of Home Depot uh, in, uh, I guess, early 2016. It's their most recent model. Uh, as always, I'm going to uh, tear it apart and see how it's built. So there's no serviceability with this assembly. It's uh, a glued-on cap, but uh, if you hit it with enough heat, uh, it seems to soften the plastic and the epoxy. Uh, there's a really simple circuit board on this side here. And... A really simple circuit board on this side here. Let's just pull these out of the assembly and take a look at them. There's actually uh, not very much circuitry on them at all. So, very surprisingly uh, simple design. There's two end caps here, and of course they have the electrical connections. There's only one connection coming in either, either side of the bulb. And uh, this circuit board here simply is a capacitor. There's nothing else to it. And this board here has a full wave uh, bridge rectifier and uh, a capacitor. And sitting at the very ends here, uh, I think they're fusible links of some sort. And that's it. There's absolutely nothing else uh, on the circuit boards. The tube uh, is glass, as mentioned, so it probably provides a pretty good thermal profile because glass is quite uh, conductive of heat. And then they've epoxied the uh, circuit board uh, down into the tube so it's not uh, removable without smashing the tube. Uh, the actual circuit board itself uh, looks pretty straightforward, as I mentioned. It just seems to be a, a long array of uh, uh, LEDs all the way down. So here's just a picture of the uh, LEDs. Uh, you can see, of course, I've had to smash the glass envelope to get an idea of what the circuit board looks like. Uh, really straightforward, just a bunch of LEDs, 152 uh, to be precise, uh, all, I believe, in series. Uh, and that's it. Uh, there's no, actually no other components on the circuit board. So unlike Cree, where they put the driver circuitry on the board as well, uh, Phillips chose to uh, split those two functions up. So uh, a very straightforward assembly. Okay, well, I'm not sure there's much else to say. I guess that's why I tell the video boring. Um, not because it's a bad assembly or anything, but just uh, it's surprisingly simple. Uh, there's just uh, not many components on it. Unlike the A-shaped bulbs, I was sort of expecting, I don't know, something a little more sophisticated, but uh, I guess this does the job. You don't need a lot uh, when you're working with a really high uh, working voltage. You've got enough LEDs. You don't really have to drop the voltage. I guess you just have to rectify it. It'd be interesting to, see, to uh, measure what kind of flicker performance you get uh, with uh, such a simple capacitor here. Uh, the reason I haven't done any flicker measurements is that uh, I suspect the ballast also uh, has a really big effect on uh, flicker performance. But uh, there we go. That's the uh, Philips uh, InstaFit uh, T8 LED light bulb uh, from uh, 2016.